Hey everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we're gonna talk about TikTok. This video was inspired by Natasha Oshien. She actually released two different videos kind of scrolling through TikTok and explaining why some things were beneficial to watch and why some things were maybe not so much. So we're gonna be taking pretty much the same approach. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through TikTok. I wanna first go through some very popular hashtags to break down like what is useful information and what maybe is not not as useful, just so you guys have a little bit more knowledge and education and background when you're looking at something on TikTok and going, is this good advice for me? So hopefully that can give you a little bit more knowledge. And then after that, we're gonna go through my For You page. I'm gonna show you how my For You page has kind of been curated to only really recommend like quality fitness recommendations rather than crappy ones that are a waste of time. There's also gonna be so many cat videos. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's go. I'm also pretty sure that when I did a similar video like this about Instagram that I was wearing the same sweater. I'm also pretty sure though I looked way more put together in that video. I'm definitely wearing sweatpants, guys. <laughs> so let's go through first and let's look at, let's just Google fitness tips. Google, search. Okay, let's, um, ooh, the best exercise to get rid of face fat. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, let's try. All right, she got me. So she is completely right. This is something that I see all the time. You cannot spot reduce fat. So let's give the example if you want to get a smaller waist. A lot of people will immediately think that if you do a bunch of crunches, that will shrink your waist. That is unfortunately not how the body works. If you're doing a bunch of crunches, you are going to be building your abdominal muscle, which is great. So we can spot build muscle, but then actually see that muscle and lose the body fat around it. That is going to be from being in a caloric deficit, which is the most easily controlled by controlling your nutrition. She looks fun. I'm gonna give her a follow. Okay, let's try another. I don't like staying up and talking about your family till we fall asleep. I don't like that you know my order when we're out to eat and you pay for me. Cause I don't wanna Okay, this is um this is all exactly right. And I feel like these videos that I've made over here kind of talk about the benefits and when you should be using cardio, um, giving little nutrition tips here and there. <laughs> so this is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. And this is like the epitome of TikTok, right? She's giving great advice, but like this is why I stayed off of it for so long because I'm like, I can't just make a video where I'm like, mm, mm, mm and then it gets like 10 million views. As someone who creates YouTube videos, which if you guys, if anybody watching this also creates YouTube videos, you know that this takes hours of work. Great message, but this is the reason why I hate TikTok. But she's great, nothing against her by any means. This is just what TikTok is. All right, fitness tips, TikTok is killing it. Let's try. This will show abs in like two to three weeks. So this is, okay. Number one, doing that many crunches is, especially if you're doing this three to five times in a row, that was 50, then 25 on each side. That's a hundred crunches. You're gonna like, murder your cervical and lumbar spine. There are just so many better exercises to target your abdominals. I will put some right up here so that you can see them.
But also like we've already talked about, you can't get a smaller waist from doing abdominal exercises. And I've talked about this so many times in other videos, but toned abs or toned anything just means that you've lost body fat and you've built muscle so that that muscle pops under your skin. And this will show abs in like two to three weeks. That's a big promise. This will show abs in two to three weeks. So I just, I really, uh, oh, I know I've gotten in trouble on this on other videos. So people will comment and they'll be like, well, you obviously have to change your nutrition. You obviously have to be doing other things. Guys, people don't know that. I'm gonna talk about this actually in a video at the end of the month, but essentially in my experience with client outreach and being in Facebook groups to see potential clients out there, people don't actually know this. So I personally find that it is very irresponsible to make claims like this in a TikTok, Instagram, YouTube post, anywhere on the internet when it's not true. And maybe she doesn't know it's not true. I think that that's kind of like the pitfall of fitness influencers. Just because something worked for you doesn't mean that it's going to work for other people. Everyone is so different metabolically, genetically. So when I'm programming and choosing exercises, I would rather choose things that I know are backed in science and help to serve a function of your muscle or your daily movement patterns. So, um, if you wanna hurt your low back, do this. We're gonna do one more before we go to my For You page, weight loss tips, let's see. The two most underrated tips for fat loss that nobody really talks about. The first tip is water. Drink around three liters a day. A lot of the times you're not even hungry, you're just dehydrated. Hydration plays such an important role in digestion and in muscle function. Next is walking. It's honestly such a good form of cardio and it's not too stressful on the body. Great, love this. So number one thing, water. I've talked about this a lot. It's one of my big goals. Oh no, it's 12 o'clock. Mm. Okay, water break. So she's right. One of the huge things that I focus on with a lot of my nutrition clients is water intake. And then the other thing is walking. I've actually talked about that in these two videos right over here. And remember that walking is considered cardio depending on your level of exertion during your walk. So those are great tips right there. Give her a little like. Two face killer, go gorilla for the bag. Uh, that boy be a pussy, kill the vibe, he a drag. Uh, autobiography gon' look like a brag. Huh? Let's get to the money, I'm on PT dirty ass. <laughs> I hate TikTok. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about why she lost, I think she said 60 pounds in three months. So drinking a gallon of water a day, this is gonna be different for every person. Not everybody needs a whole gallon of water every single day. The recommended, I always forget this off the top of my head whenever I'm filming. The recommended amount for women, I believe is 10 to 12 cups a day. And for men, I believe it's 14 to 16. Editing Justine is gonna put that right up there. This also is going to depend on how much energy you're expending each day, how much you speak each day. Remember that that is going to dehydrate you as well. So it is a little bit different for each person, but remember that you don't need to drink a gallon of water a day necessarily. Intermittent fasting was her next tip. If you enjoy intermittent fasting, you do it. If it works for you, if it keeps you consistent, that's great. But let's talk about what intermittent fasting actually really does for most people. It just puts you in a caloric deficit because you are shortening the amount of time that you are allowed to eat during the day. I would definitely recommend checking with your doctor before you start intermittent fasting, but that's just my opinion. Eat more veggies, 1000%, she is correct there. A lot of the things that I have my clients focus on is not cutting out any food groups, it's just adding in more of the nutrient dense things. So a lot of my clients, if our goals are weight loss, we add in more protein because that is gonna help you stay satiated. Also because we're usually coupling it with strength training and to build muscle, you are going to need adequate protein. And then with that, you also wanna increase your vegetables for very obvious reasons. <laughs> and like I just said, you do not wanna cut out food groups. So guys, you should not cut out carbs. Carbs are your energy. If you are not eating any carbohydrates, then I guess you are going for more of a keto diet, which is essentially where your body does not have enough carbohydrates to use as an energy source. So it is then going to start to break down fat into ketones, which will then be used as energy. So again, Again, this is a diet that I only recommend you go on if your doctor recommends it. And really at the end of the day, all that diet is doing is 
putting you in a caloric deficit. And again, the biggest thing that weight loss will come down to is a caloric deficit. So if you're cutting out these carbs, yeah, she's just in a caloric deficit. So this is just a great example of like, this worked for you. It's not necessarily gonna work for everybody else. And it's also not necessarily, um, not that it's not good advice, but it's not accurate advice. We can put it that way. Okay, so now we're actually gonna look at my For You page. I'm gonna do my best to like skip all of the cat videos. Want it all now, wanna get her to the top, I wanna find out When they see can't afford to close my eyes now We on the way up Yeah, she's exactly right. If you want that slowed down and broken down a little bit more, I have a whole video about it right here. She'll get a like. That's a really good question that doesn't get talked about enough. When doing the traditional hip thrust, do you tend to feel the exercise in your hamstrings and quads? If you do, this doesn't mean you're doing the exercise wrong. You just have to understand that the traditional hip thrust has a greater range of motion at the knee, which forces the hamstrings and quads to get more involved. The glute bridge takes the bottom half of range of motion from the hip thrust out of the exercise, which will allow you to keep the tension on your glutes throughout the movement. Now you'll only be focusing on the range of motion at the hips and stopping before there's any change of angle at your knee, which will allow you to better isolate your glutes. If you haven't tried this, I would definitely recommend it. This guy is probably my favorite person on TikTok. You have to follow him, Lost in Lifting. He just explains really complex like exercise science and nutrition concepts in a very basic digestible way. So a lot of his stuff is great. Definitely follow him. I just really like Tara. Definitely follow her too, especially on Instagram. She's very funny. So something that I wanted to pause and point out really quickly is that looking at the sugars on here, what we're looking for guys is sh total sugars and then added sugars. The added sugars is what you really wanna pay extra attention to because that means that is added in from things like cane sugar, The rest of the sugar is from a natural source, like fruit. So you can see in here on the ingredient list that there are strawberries, but, but right above it is cane sugar. So you can actually then deduce that one gram of the sugar comes from the strawberries and 13 grams comes from the cane sugar. All right, well, that was fun. So hopefully that gave you a little more knowledge of like, what to look for on TikTok, what to kind of swipe away on on TikTok. And if there is one thing that you can take away from any of my videos is like, there are no quick fixes. Everything that you do, what, whatever your goals are with fitness, it really just comes down to being consistent. Any questions about a specific TikTok that you've seen where you're like, is this quality information? You can always let me know down in the comments below, but otherwise I will see you all in the next one.